Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, you're looking at a gigantic sunspot that is now facing the earth again. Now, the Bible did tell us that there'd be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Well, what can shake the heavens would be a mass CMEs from an ejection from a major solar spot or sunspot on the sun. And the largest sunspot to appear on Earth's, uh, on the sun in more than over 20 some years is once again pointed at our planet and will likely kickstart solar storms, according to NASA scientists. The mass of sunspot that you're looking at, previously known as Active Region 12192, was turned toward Earth back in October and early November, but it rotated out of view while it was on the Earth-facing uh, side of the sun. We were so blessed the sunspot did not produce any major CME ejections. Hot burst of material uh, ejected into space at 4 million miles an hour, which have the potential to damage satellites and power grids. Now the active region has rotated back around and it's facing our planet again. And although the sunspot is not near as big as it was, According to NASA, it is more likely to be disruptive. Scientist Holly Gilbert says on Space.com during a video interview about the massive sunspot. He says, quote, This time around, it's more likely to have some CMEs associated with it, even though the solar flares might be smaller, said Gilbert, chief of the Solar Physics Laboratory of NASA. Uh, at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, he said, quote, we have a good idea based on the structure of the magnetic field and the sunspot that it is very possible that it will create some mid-level flares. Uh, the sunspots are blemished like region on the sun where magnetic fields become very highly bundled. The magnetic field blocks light and heat from passing through the sunspot region, causing them to appear dark compared to surrounding areas. So this is a very, very powerful sunspot. Now they have renamed this sun sunspot to AR-12192. It has been changed to AR-12209. So it is now sunspot 12209, but it is the same Region Now, one thing's for sure, there's more to it than just sunspots sending out powerful CMEs affecting satellite communications. Uh, it can also fry power grids. Uh, it can mess up wa uh, radio waves, uh, cell phone towers, communications of all types. Uh, it can do to some very, very destructive damage, but it can also put tons of pressure on the tectonic plates of the earth, creating massive earthquakes, especially if there's areas of the earth where those plates are very weak. And if those plates that are weak get a direct hit from this pressure from these CMEs, it could cause a massive quake. So we don't know. We just know it's facing us, and so we'll continue to watch it. If one erupts, then usually within 48 hours, the earth feels these pressure, this hit. And where it directly hits, Lord only knows as the earth is spinning. Uh, this is why it's, it's a, why I say this all the time. It's not just a, a, you know, a stroke of bad luck or good luck. It's a divine, uh, significant target. Uh, and potentially based on the current things going on in the world. You know, whatever's going on in the spiritual world, Many, 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 many times, or almost every time, you will see manifestations in the physical. And so God, of course, reserves his judgment. 
for anyone. I'll finish the scriptures I was reading, though. It says, men's hearts will fail in them for fear of things looking uh, after those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. Are you saved? That is a question that you can answer with God. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The signs are everywhere, and we are running out of time.